like to present to you our first, hopefully annual, Cousin Cook-Off! Very ingenious that you got everyone else to cook for your night. All the spoons are facing the same way. That's the attention to detail that we bring you. Do you think a cucumber makes a difference? Oh, God, we're gonna love it. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> Just means more to team two. This just means more. Zone, you're tickling my feet. <laughs> you're still in your nightgown and you're tickling my feet. It's the first thing in the morning. Little feet tickling. Stop. 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 We brought cupcakes for Uncle Mike's birthday. Oh, the ones that were forgotten yesterday. Yes. We are the dinner hosts tonight. If you watch our other vlogs, each night a different family hosts dinner and does a themed dinner night. Tonight is us, and look, our dinner is arriving. Everybody else had to go to the grocery store, but guess what we did? Oh, yeah, we got shipped here. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. Thank you to Green Chef. Thank you, Green Chef. How are you doing, Dad? Great. How are you doing? Just right down here is awesome. Oh, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much. Some of you may know if you've been watching that I applied to be a flight attendant for Southwest Airlines and I got the job and I'm now awaiting um, my training. I have to go to Dallas for four weeks in training. One of the things that we get tested on right away at training is the public service announcements. You know, the welcome aboard Southwest Airlines. We're happy to have you here. These are the, you know, buckle your seatbelt, all that stuff. So I have been practicing and practicing and practicing that. And they say that what you need to do is practice it in front of people because that's how you're going to be tested and that's how you're actually going to do it. So I use this opportunity on the beach to share some of my PAs with the family. Funny thing is, I think I bored them just as much as I might end up boring the airline passengers. It is about five o'clock in the afternoon and Mike and I are in the kitchen preparing for our Donnelly dinner. It's Donnelly dinner night, right Mike? Absolutely. This is something that we've never done before on vacation. I'm pretty excited about it because I think it's be really fun to involve um, everybody in making the dinner. So stay tuned to find out what we're doing. Mike is making Spanish rice. Is that what you're making, Mike? Si. Si, si, senor. Spanish rice. I am over here putting together some signage. I'm not gonna show you what it says. You can wait and see. Um, as the video progresses, what that sign is going to say and what the actual event is going to be tonight. And the thing is, like, we came here knowing what we were going to do. Like, we knew the concept of what we were going to make, but we did not know how we were going to present it. And this is the perfect way to do this because um, we knew that we wanted something that was simple and we wanted something that was um easy and efficient and competitive. and competitive and can feed a lot of people or as many people as you want or as little as you want because it comes in portions so stay tuned and we will show you what's going on everybody by the way has been told i've cleaned the kitchen everyone has been told to stay out of the kitchen hi there's jillian ryan they're setting up the activity for this evening it's going to be quite a an extravaganza an extravaganza it's and a competition. It's, it's definitely different from anything we've ever done. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here, Here we go. go. I wonder what that says. Hmm. Okay, you guys, we are getting ready. Mike has all the appetizers out. This is going to be the cousin cook-off. 
So what we're gonna do is have everybody compete as they make their wonderful green chef recipes. We're very excited about this. Everybody's gonna decorate their own chef hat and they have their own apron and we're gonna have teams. Everybody's arriving, we're getting ready. Oh, I'm so excited. Welcome to Donnelly's Dinner Night. We're very excited to host everybody tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has been so much fun to put together, and we would like to present to you our first, hopefully annual, Cousin Cook-Off! Decorate them and put that on, and then we have aprons right over here, and you guys may cook away. Each team will be making eight servings of steak tacos with creamy guacamole. We wanted to make it easy for you guys, our family, to also try Green Chef. So use our code Donnelly's50 to get 50% off and free shipping if you go to greenchef.com. You can find out more details. Please try it. Let us know what you guys think. I am positive you're going to love it just like we do. Dad, it's super quick. Okay. Green Shelf helps our family eat clean and live a healthy lifestyle. All the food comes well organized in these little kits, just like we're using today, which is super convenient. And with their new quick and easy recipes, I feel like I can prioritize our health and get a quality, tasty dinner on the table every night in about 25 minutes or less. Pretty even cuts, yeah? Yeah, you're doing a really good job. Wendy, what do you think so far? Who's looking good? I think this is amazing. I love the teamwork. Who else is on this team? James. He's in charge of the state. Yes, he's oh, the oh my gosh. You guys, they got a ringer yeah, for the state. Yeah, they do. Whoa. This team is just so stacked, honestly. I kind of feel bad. Wow. Oh, my goodness. How's it going, no. James? Nice. Look at this. Look at the wow. Dialogue. That looks really good. Oh, yeah. Can we sabotage the other teams? Uh, Can I like sneeze in team two's food? No, please don't because we like, have to just, eat it. Or just steal one of their ingredients so everything's off. <laughs> this is you guys looking good, looking, looking good. Great. Wow. That's right. Lauren knows exactly so, what's so going on. So all of these need to go. On. So does Will. Yeah. Our team number two. How's oh, everything great. coming along? Yeah, I just cut four whole onions and I can't see it. So. <laughs> this is an all male team over here. We got four oh, guys. Crying. <laughs> In the meantime, Jay is over here eating cupcakes. Are you eating cupcakes? That looks so good. Okay, good idea. I'm, I'm very ingenious that you got everyone else to cook for your night. <laughs> As a note, I love cooking green chef meals, guise, but I just thought it'd be fun for other under, people to try. Under the guise of a theme, you know, <laughs> a game show, you got everybody to cook your dinner for you. Genius, right? It is. So this is what happens when his grandfather, his great grandfather, his great uncle are watching him while he's coming. <laughs> Jay's mom is over there cooking because she's one of the cousins. So Pat, Mike, and Tom get to watch him and they let him eat cupcakes. That's what's happening. I get it. Do you have anything to say about that? I love to watch him eat. He just loved it. He knew exactly how to eat the icing first. <laughs> Go right from the top. Smart kid. Smart kid. All right, Cynthia and Mom, what do you have to say about this? Thing I've ever seen. It's just a great team building. The cousins got that they needed to love each other. But what a! It's hilarious. It's so much fun. And here's what I will share. What a 
one of the competitors, whose name I will not mention, said to me, how do you quarter a line? <laughs> Something. It's a learning experience. And, yeah. Well, and then we have some professional. We do. We do. We do. We do. Which is why that our right. jumping in. Yeah. How's everything going, Sash? You know, just dicing and spicing these tomatoes. Raising the clock. Looking for 300. That's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> so here's Grammy giving Jay a cucumber. <laughs> he does. <laughs> You already had your dinner? My yeah, eyes hurt so bad. Oh, jeez, Kate, here you go. Let me get there. I'll get a big one for you. Do you think a cucumber makes a difference? Ah, nice peppers. You guys cook, guys. Beautiful steak. Look at you guys. You guys cook, guys. We got the guac made. Here the comes the judge. I'm looking, I'm looking for teamwork. Participation. Did you guys do that? And then uh, presentation. You got, you got the guacamole down. Follow the instructions. Nailed it. Right. So I'm, I'm the, the judge looking at participation, teamwork, and presentation. So I'll be expecting. <laughs> What's that? Okay. And I'm also looking at respect for judges. How's it going, James? Good. Fantastic. Excellent. Oh, beautiful, Lauren. Beautifully spiced. How well, am I getting your onion in my eyes? I know. It's crazy. <laughs> like 9,000 onions. <laughs> 9,000 onions. So many. This is, uh, Guacamole, sour cream, paprika, and lime. Yum! <laughs> no one else is heated there. Tortillas yet. Oh. Tortillas are uh. nice and warm. Get them out of, you know, firmness to hold the steak. They're going to be just fine. Beautiful. Looking good, Lauren. Looking good. How you feeling, Lauren? I'm going to feel hot over here. Oh, sugar! Oh, sugar! <laughs> might be buttering up the judge. I think Ryan's making up for having just arrived in the kitchen only minutes ago. I think you're right. His team is three quarters away into the project. Someone, we realized there's a bag. Let's get on the thing on the counter. It's not a bag. so much food. Like, this is Is it your bag? No, it's for sure not our bag. We chopped up another bag. So we just split it down. This team is the most like Disney characters. <laughs> Do you look like, I don't even know, like, um, two, two Cinderella. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, did you see yeah. that? That That's actually it. proves my point. We're way ahead of the game. So we have our veg on the stove, right? Is it because you've mixed a bag? <laughs> I think my favorite part about Green Chef is that I try recipes with ingredients that I never ever would have tried before. Bok choy, asparagus, kimchi, um, jicama, shard, currants, that kind of stuff. It's a flavor of the secret ingredient. Good. Which is? Which is secret. Okay. How's it going over here, ladies and gentlemen? Fantastic. Okay, excellent. Everything's looking beautiful. Oh, you know what? Cooking in there is going spectacular. What do you think, Mike? I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. It's actually very exciting. It's very exciting. I love the way they're working together. I do too. Have you been taking videos with my phone? Yeah, I have been. Sorry. Get back in there. All right, let's get back in there. One of the things I'm so excited about is all the cousins working together. There are such a variety of ages. They they always get together, but the older cousins have families, and sometimes they just you know they're sort of in different stage of life. But having this all together has been so much fun, right? Really? I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, you guys. And I can't wait to eat. It looks spectacular. Uh -huh.
right, you guys, we're coming out for this chef picture. And look, there is so there are some messy aprons. I love it. We're about ready to do presentations, but we want to get a group shot first. Lauren, where's your hat? Oh, I'm missing two cousins, but I gotta tell you, this group is a total group of superstars. I'm so proud of them. Team number one. Hello, all you fine folks. Welcome to uh, the Cousin Cook-Off. We are team one, starting off uh, the presentations. I know all the other teams are gonna razzle-dazzle you about their smiley faces and their fancy balls. Here in the South, we like to keep it family style. We don't really, we don't like to portion your plate for you. You can go along and pick your tournament. We have the finest, freshest steak from Green chef made by our own here mr will sorry uh we do have more veggies they will there's more veggies but this is you know present and then i would like to address all the spoons are facing the same way that's the attention to detail that we bring you on team one we got some lemons and some spicy sauce and then you take your fork you go out and enjoy your meal that's team one vote us <laughs> this is team two here we like to show you our plate um we actually took it a step further because this was a cooking competition, a cooking show. As all of you know, all the cooking competitions ends with a final dish. Um, so we prepared a dish for the judges to um, try. There's a guacamole and hot sauce spread, and we have some tacos here with some beautifully seared steak, some roasted peppers and onions with some parsley drizzled on top, some cheese, some seasoning, and some lime. Um, after Beautiful. you see the other three, after you see the other two teams, it's going to be obvious that this is the winner. Um, and that's about all I have to say. I'm I'm excited to dig into this. I really am. Anyone else? It just means uh, more to team two. This just means more. You can see with our You can see the presentation. It just we went more. the extra mile and then an extra half mile. <laughs> all right, team two. I'm going to be honest, I don't have an extravagant speech to give. I'm going to let the food speak for itself. Um, but over here we have our avocado. They already explained the same thing. It's all the same food. But it's not the same because this was made with love. This was made with passion and heart and teamwork and just that family bond that you can't really get with a team of four the way that you can with a team of three. So while we were one heart down, we made up for it. Um, in, in love and passion. So, so I just want to thank my team. I want to thank everybody who's been here for us um, throughout this experience, and we just we really hope you guys enjoy the food. So, some help from Ann Jill, we've picked some superlatives from today's presentation. And don't worry, Lauren, it's not based on attitude or anger towards the judge. <laughs> that's the good news. And also, Ryan, it's not based on what time you showed up. So that's also good news. Team three wins, wins a $10,000 prize for doing least with the most. No, I'm sorry, doing most with the least. <laughs> so they had three, as Kate said, they had three hearts. That seemed a little little heavy duty there, but they had three hearts. So Congratulations, team three. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The most, thank you. The, least. the team that presented the least with the most. <laughs> team two. Yeah. So you get you get a ten thousand dollar prize, and the team that used brute force, absolute brute force, to plow through this thing with diesel power. Team one with Well, Lauren, Ryan, and Sasha. Well, we forgot the bare feet category. Everybody get got docked for cooking in their bare feet because Ruth, Ruth and I walked around and Ruth pointed out all the bare feet. <laughs> You guys, what do you think? Are you tasting it? This is, A1. This is the best dinner. Yeah, it's very, very good. It, best that steak is spiced so beautifully. Oh Thank my you. gosh, it is so you tender. Because you got it from Team One. Right, right, right. Exactly, exactly right. That's, that's right. 
Right? It's all good. I, it's so good. It's so good. Are you enjoying it, Brennan? Fantastic. Excellent. All right, there's plenty more we in there, you guys. We do have a bunch of food. Eat up. All right, let's give it up for the can't miss all three teams provide uh, produce fantastic meals it's awesome and we'll give it a give a big hand for everybody Woo! congratulations all right now we get to clean up let's right. clean up Woo! Clean is cooked. Clean the is clean. Clean. all right so now we're playing um games we're playing card games Boy doesn't get nervous. All right, there are five people left and only four spoons. It is Ashley, Ryan, Cynthia, Katie, and Brennan. They are feverishly throwing their cards. One at a time. You can only pick up one at a time. She just pressed me two again. You can only pick up one at a time, Kate. What the heck, man? You can only pass one at a time. And then there were four. Katie, Aunt Sid, Brennan, and Ryan. There we go. We got three spoons left. <laughs> oh! Alright, it's the Donnellys. Versus the Donnellys. Versus the Donnellys. It's time, so you gotta pick them up. Oh! Wow. Candy. Brings it down. Mono e mono. Brother v brother. Somebody here, somebody here. You just call me low, bro. There's everything, there's no such thing as me being low. <laughs> Alright, boost your seat. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Gerber, baby. <laughs> Today was watching everybody cook and how everybody just like jumped on it and worked together. It was so awesome and the food was phenomenal. So again, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to watch this vlog, which is yesterday's vlog from here in the Outer Banks. And be sure to watch Katie's TikTok, which by the way went viral from the circus day, now has 9 million views. So by the time you watch this video, it'll probably have a lot more than that. So anyway, thanks so much for watching you guys. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye, Aunt Wendy. Bye.